and I know it's a hip hop show, but uh, we got a guy. Uh, we're gonna start interviewing people like with regular jobs, mm -hmm. you know, people that, that work at plants and stuff, and you know, cause. People are curious, you know, because I love that TV show that comes on, uh, Dirty Jobs. That's one of my favorite shows to watch, and I think we're going to start interviewing people. So we got my man Curtis here, a uh, uh, college student that's real dedicated and committed to his job. He worked at, uh, he's a sandwich artist at uh, Chick-fil-A. Curtis, good morning. Give it up for Curtis. Yeah. Curtis, good morning. Good morning. Hey, Curtis, Mike, oh, I'm sorry. Good morning, Curtis. How are you doing today? Good, good. All right, speak loud and, louder to the mic, man. So how so how long you been down with uh, Chick Fil A? It's been about a year and a half. Okay. Okay. And then I come back on summers and work in breaks. They give um, everybody opportunity once you work there. You right. You can come back and work on breaks and your um, summer vacations. Oh, that's nice. How long does it take to get promoted to manager like up there? It depends on the worker and it um, depends on your dedication to the job and just your personality and how you work with other, with others and just your right. characteristic. Hey man, so I, I I love the chicken sandwich and, and the waffle fries, man. So what was what was your job? Uh, your job at Chick Fil A? Well, I did many jobs at Chick Fil A, and um, in the back, <laughs> it's the music that's making me laugh. I'm sorry. In the back, you have um, you start out on fries, and then like you may go to making the sandwiches, or you mm -hmm. may go to like we have home style sides. You may go to making the sides, or you may be dealing with um the restaurant side, restaurant right part. Okay. So, so, so now break down what you was breaking down with us yesterday about uh, Ebony. What was your concern about? What well, you I just, I, 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 I'm just obsessed with the pickle that's on there because I just, when I bite into it, I never know where the pickle gonna be. I just be so excited. <laughs> now, what is, what is the, uh, what is the key to putting the? Is it just one or two pickles? It's two pickles. I you have to have thought two so. pickles. Right, so what's the problem? What, what do they, how, how do you go through what? So you have the bottom bun that's flat, mm -hmm. and then you have two pickles that can't touch. <laughs> And then you have so so they the pickles can't touch. They cannot touch. Are you? And they wrong. They're doing the wrong procedure because they cannot touch. Should they be fired over that? They shouldn't be fired, but they should get a stern talking. <laughs> <laughs> now are these pickles pre-sliced? Or does someone come? slice them in they're the morning? They're pre-sliced. They come in um in bulk, mm -hmm. and then like they're they're in a um, white container, and you just scoop out the pickles and right. There's a little container you keep on the side to where you can put the pickles. So what what happened if if uh, if you put two pickles on there and they touch it? I mean, it's not like the customer's gonna notice, but if your manager sees it, they will um, talk to you about it because you have people that comes from corporate in Chick Fil A and they look at that and they'll dock you if the if the pickles touch. Whoa. So really, also it's two pickles I be taking. Okay, so let me get this straight. The pickle have to be on the bottom bun between the meat and the bottom bun. Yes, ma'am. So what happens if people order um, no pickles? You start from scratch, or you just yeah, go you in have one to of the bags. Have a new and bun. Like some people are allergic to pickles, right? And so if you put that pickle on the bun, and then the uh, juice, they react to. They have allergic reaction to it. Chick Fil A can get sued. So that's extra pickles. Can you ask for extra pickles? Yes. Dope. No, get hush. <laughs> so so so. <laughs> So the waffle fries. Um, uh, how, did you ever work work the waffle fry station? Yes, sir. Right, and what was great about that was it? you have to um, you just the waffle fries they cook for five minutes and mm -hmm. it's like a holding time about ten minutes. So okay, that's after they come out. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you have to wait ten minutes before we can eat them. No, it's ten minutes to after you have to throw them out. That's why they be okay. They be fresh. It's yeah. Fresh. Now about. A year and a half, two years ago, I cried fat boy tears of joy when I found out that you guys were coming out with the spicy chicken sandwich. Now, how well is that doing right now? The spicy chicken sandwich is doing really well, and Chick-fil-A is always running specials, and usually they'll have um, the deluxe sandwich. Can't believe we doing this. <laughs> with the milkshake, so it's like, it's doing really well. <laughs> Hell no. No. <laughs> Hey, so so uh, so is there is there a big black lady in the back making that lemonade? Cause it'd be good as hell. No, somebody squeezing those. Who back there squeezing those lemons? Every well, I've squeezed lemons before. It's um. Uh, uh, Y'all squeeze real lemons? There's actually a a, a, a job just for uh, doing the lemonade. That's right. right. Like, like, are, you, are you squeezing with your hand? Or? Yeah. yeah, we have a machine. You cut them in half, and then you uh, use the machine to. Uh, Squeeze out the lemon juice. Oh, we're talking to Curtis. This is so interesting. What He's kind a sandwich of sandwich artist at uh, Chick Fil A? I'm guessing just regular <laughs> white sugar. Okay. You have containers that you have to. It's a certain procedure for everything. So you have containers you use. Do you ever wish it was open on Sunday so you can get more hours? 
no, I don't wish that because it's good. It gives everybody a rest and been working all week. You can go to church. <laughs> I love it. Oh, the chicken mini is just a smaller version of the uh, chicken breast. So. Oh my God! Hey y'all! Hey, thank you so much, Curtis. If, if anybody want to follow you on Twitter, how can they follow you, man? Um, I'm at Doctor Underscore Music. That's M U C I C K. Um, Whoa! I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey y'all, give it up for Curtis one time, y'all! Yeah.